And he a did. nigga that could make it happen, bro. Cause mom, yeah. yo, everybody loved that nigga and respected him. Crush that Groove, he dope. was a Crush Groove. He was a graffiti legend before he was a DJ legend. Yeah, Daz. The nigga, the nigga graffiti name was Daz, bro. See, see? fact. Yeah, Daz. He just, uh, he just. The Art Basel contacted him and wanted his pieces down there. They brought one for down there, seventy thousand dollars. Fucked him up. Crazy. Hey, that nigga was the old school king of New York too, right? As far as the old school cars. Nah, K. Slay didn't even drive. He didn't have drivers. Like he was scared to drive. He, they tried to teach him how to drive at sixteen. Then they told a nigga what to hit, and he confused the gas pedal from the brake. He said he hit the motherfucker. Ran up on the car on the sidewalk, hit the fire hydrant, never drove again. All his all his drivers right now, he had two, three cars. The drivers that gotta to drive to him. They parked it at his spot and then they drive him around. But he used to be like, I'm like, yo, bro, why are you calling your drivers by numbers? He said, Bro, all them niggas is taxi cab drivers from Harlem. So that's eighty eight. That was his cab number. You know what I'm saying? You know, that's ten six. He was his cab number was hundred and six. So they was all African niggas. They used to come get him uh, in the cabs in Harlem in the Bronx. He made them his drivers. It's crazy. Hey, uh, my condolences to you too, Wacko, because you always always say something good about that nigga, man. That's a yeah, fact, that's nah, man. Head. That's my yeah. brother right there. First yeah. time I heard of Wack was with Case Slate. Yeah, I used to be up there. You know, if you go to uh, Google, put in Bridge in the Gap, DJ K Slate. You'll see where I took that nigga around every blood, crip, motherfucking neighborhood, all the Long Beach, everywhere. And uh, that's when we started rebuilding, you know, getting away that, getting away from that bullshit East Coast, West Coast beat. J-Rock, Kendrick Lamar, YG, Glasses Malone, uh, all these niggas first time on radio was K. Slay. I sent him with K. Slay, K. Slay. Spin them, let them come up there, interview, do all that shit. Uh, Nipsey Hustle, all this, all these niggas. First time ever seeing and touching the radio station with Slay. That's a fact. He had them doors open for niggas. Hey, y'all, PTR, PTR. If y'all see my PTR, man, I got the K Slay PTR. I had that nigga on the hundred and forty second, nigga, at 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 HQ, nigga, Westside Parkway headquarters. Had that nigga the niggas in gardens. Hell yeah. Over there in the um, in insane and um, 89th and fucking Mary had the nigga in the motherfucking jungles. Um, he was in. I had the nigga at the, in the jungles at midnight. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, we yeah. I'm trying to take the nigga to the hotel. He said, "Yo, what? Where that spot at? Nigga on training day where them niggas was had them birds and shit on the roof." <laughs> I said, you want to go over there? I said, you motherfucker right, I want to go over there, right? It's 11, 12 o'clock. I called my nigga Fat Rat. Um, say, Rat, where you at? You and he said, I'm in, I'm at the house. Are you in the set? He like, yeah. I said, I got Slay with me. He said, whack, it's hot the motherfucker over here. I said, man, that nigga ain't taking no for an answer. He said, fuck it. Meet, meet me off uh, Nicolette. And shit, I come up in there. And we running the crazy ass motherfucking General Tone Stone. And this nigga Slay pulled out that camera and man, Slay got yo, listen, man. Yeah, no, it's in the here. middle of the jungle. <laughs> man, I had a birthday party. Had a birthday party and um uh, it was a birthday party, a Ray J album release party, and Stacy Adams was signed to me at the time. So we go to the birthday party and uh I ran out the whole spot in Hollywood. K. Slay, he got this guy body shit all this New York hat twisted. Niggas about a thousand bloods in this motherfucker. Four Crips. Four Crips made nine East Coast. Deco. Um, uh, what's the other crazy nigga? EC. He got East Coast going across his whole face, right? So Slay is tripping. He like, yo, whack. These niggas keep looking at me. I said, yeah, you got a New York hat on, nigga. That mean neighborhood out here, right? So he said, but Deco now, how they in this motherfucker with all these bloods? I said, they're my brothers, my nigga. They going to respect it. He said, whack, y'all got a different kind of politic, right? So I walk away from the nigga, and somebody walked up and asked K-Slay where he was from. Man, they damn nigga. 
Man, listen, did, man. Did he say East Coast, nigga? Man, no, he ain't get a chance to say nothing. Them niggas seeing them niggas sweat and slay. You got to remember, the whole party is my people. Man, they damn near pulled that, them niggas' limbs. <laughs> Yo, it uh, took Slay to yeah. stop it. Slay running around. No, 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 no. Nah, let him be. It's cool. He didn't know. Y'all let him go. Oh, shit. Yo, <laughs> nigga, what that... was Slay? Slay stopped the niggas from killing these niggas. That's man. crazy, yo. And they tried to right? press them. He still saved them niggas, man. Man, them niggas, them little young niggas, them niggas, man. We didn't know. We we would, you know, I said, my nigga. But see, the young niggas didn't know who Slay was. Everybody knows, no. That's Slay. Slay on the West Coast. First nigga to bring K Slay to the West Coast was Dub C. But he flew in, Dub C picked him up, they did what they did, Slay got up out of here. This was Slay's first time, like in the paint, like moving around. Boom, like moving and shaking. Yeah. Yeah. 